I think the Bocellis themselves are what make Camp Sizanani special. The passion that they have and the passion that they display, they are able to look beyond struggles that they're facing themselves. They come to training with all of that baggage and they forget it when they get here. The best part is that the training is not like a seminar or a workshop based training. We are able to feel like campers for like the, the four days of training. You actually get to see exactly what you'll be doing with the kids. Intentional programming is the type of camp that we have. Everything you do needs to have a purpose. The games we play, the programs that we design, the activities that we have, it all has to come down to education. So it's fun with a purpose. How would you relay this game to a real life situation with the kids? Each and every one of us here is going to be trusted with another person's child. The, 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 the kind of tone you'll be using to that particular child, is it the kind of tone you would like to be used to your own child? If you are going to be teaching, say, okay, today I'm teaching about condoms and this, is this the kind of language I will use with my child? Is this how I will give the information towards my child? If everything you think is a no, then don't do it. To me, kids have always been the way you get things done. I think if you start with a generation before they've made their opinions, then give them an environment where they could get their questions answered and encourage them to have fun, lives are changed and a difference is made to propel them into a better view of life. The whole process can start at Baira, where we have our bus departing from. The kids arrive as strangers. They don't know each other. They don't know these guys who are singing so loud in front of them. All the way to Mahalis, the Vocellis in the buses try to engage the kids. Get on the road. Yes, sir. There's a line with stripes like this. Yeah. So, it means it divides the road. Okay, on the other side, there's cars that go in the other direction. Yeah. Yeah. Here in South Africa, our yellow line is on the side. I get it. Yeah. Then when you go to USA, the yellow line is in the middle. Yeah. Then the white line is on the side. Oh. I'm lying. I'm lying. There is only two or three counsellors in two buses. When they arrive here, they see 25 plus counsellors doing the exact same thing that the Vocellis in the bus were doing. This, everything becomes a process to them to say, this is a well-oiled machine. Okay, now we just divided the cabins. So what's happening, they go into to an activity we call egg drop. So the activity is all about to get them together because it's their first day. So it's all about the teamwork. The activity that we're given is to use only natural things to protect the egg. Like there's an egg inside there. Yeah, somewhere there. <laughs> you, you won't be able to see it. Inside. Yeah, no, no, no you can't open it. Inside there. Inside there. Down, down, deep. Camps is a daddy. How are you feeling? Yeah, Each and every one of you guys, you are very special to us. I just want you to know that. You all are beautiful campers. Don't ever doubt that. There are a lot of challenges happening and you guys are here with us. That's how important you are to us. We really love each and every one of you guys. So every time when you look yourself in the mirror, remember <laughs> that you are special, you are beautiful, and you deserve to be here. This is only the beginning. You're going to have a blast.
When, when we change the environment in itself, from being at home to being in a remote place where the only people you're surrounded by are this new community that you've created, campus and Pochenis, they find themselves questioning so many things just because they're far from what they're familiar with. Once that has already been done, the Vocellis have a foundation to build on. We encourage them to want to know more about themselves. That's our biggest thing. We believe that we're change agents and changing perception, you know, not just the perception that they have about themselves, but also about each other and the social issues that they face with. This is a big part of what we do. When we get them, they're looking at the wall as their window. We get them to turn around and look at the outside. We are empowering people. How many of us have lost a parent or a close friend or somebody we love? My life. It's not a life I would like to wish for my kids or for the next generation that's coming. Last year, 2nd of February, I was raped and I even considered suicide but I, I didn't succeed because my brother found me before I passed on, luckily. Because of what happened to me, because of the rape, I really didn't love myself, I hated myself. I, was, I didn't even enjoy looking at myself in the mirror but now I know what love feels like. I know what K feels like. I know how to look at myself in the mirror and smile and tell myself that I'm special and beautiful. The world needs people like you who are able to say, yes, I have lost my father. Yes, my mother is working alone. But I'm going to grow and I'm going to make sure that I have a better life for myself. I've learned in this camp that anything is possible. Anything with my knowledge, I can do anything. They showed me that I can be whoever I want to be. If someone is having trouble, we have to work hard as a team so that we can help that person. As a team, we must work hard to improve our skills, to improve our weakness, to become strengths. When you first came here, were you nervous? I was very nervous because I didn't know anyone. So I thought I was not going to last here. Oh. But here am I today. Heaven hope in myself. They are my friends. You're gonna put all your unwanted thoughts right into the cup, blow it in. So close your eyes. When they walk away and they're saying, I am brave, I am bold, I am safe, I am strong. It's such a gift to be able to be a part of that and to uh, just see them light up. I realized that even though you don't know a person, but you can give that person love, care and attention. And I felt those things. I felt loved. I felt so special that we even have sponsors that don't even know us, but did so much for us to be here, to be this happy, to have this kind of fun, to be this protected. It takes a village to raise a child. We've been programmed to accept life and its bad things, that it's normal when it's just not normal. We need to help them to relabel their experiences, to look at their experiences in a different eye. I'd like to go to New York someday, check out the place, see how cool is it. When I grow up, I want to become a tourist, and my dream place is in Paris, because I want to see the Eiffel Tower. Uh, when I grow up, I'd like to be the best chef in the world, but I want to do a big restaurant for me. Leadership, character, how you make decisions, how you balance your emotions to logic. Those are not the things that people are aware of, but those are skills that can take you further in life. And what they do with their future when they get there, it depends on what we do now on the ground, on the foundation. Thank you. Before we goodbye, sleep nice, America. This is the wood of season and camp. Yeah. From South Africa. Africa.